what's going on guys welcome to day two october 2nd of the 31 days of horror challenge and once again i picked a horror movie to review and i picked a movie that i feel again is criminally underrated i feel like most people hate this movie just because of the director the director has had maybe more losses than wins but you can't ignore the fact that this movie is what it is and that is an awesome horror flick and it is house of a thousand corpses directed by rob zombie when it comes to rob zombie i was a big fan of his music super beast was probably one of my favorite songs um his direction when it comes to movies is very unique okay he's got a unique style to him his his movies are vulgar full of nudity full of curses and it's basically like there's a lot of like trailer trash kind of characters backwoods if you will and i feel like this movie is a great representation of that now you have movies like halloween where it don't work it does not work with that kind of theme um lords of salem that's fine i i actually like that movie but you know devil's rejects completely different film completely different from this one this one takes notes from like texas chainsaw massacre hills have eyes i mean hell it's even you know this is surrounded by characters that fit that kind of theme the crazy family the house out in the middle of the woods you know out in the middle of nowhere and you know it takes place in the 70s it's a nod to a lot of these 70s films this is what you call a unique horror film and i loved it the very first time i saw it but but again people trash this movie it wasn't well received by critics but now i kind of see that it has a little bit of a cult following and it, that might be because of the sequel devil's rejects most people will tell you what you know when it comes to the firefly trilogy most people will say that the devil's rejects is the superior film i disagree but most people will tell you that okay i feel this is the superior one this has so much going on so many characters and the uniqueness of it is great so it revolves around these kids who are traveling uh to these places like out in the middle of nowhere because they're writing a book and they want to see all the crazy stuff along the way as they're traveling they stop at this place called captain spaulding's and you know you have captain spaulding <laughs> uh played by sid haig rest in peace sid haig you are awesome you always will be any kind of movie you do is just legendary you're a legend and he plays one of the greatest characters, Captain Spaulding, clown, you know, dress up as a clown. And they stop at this place and they want to know the legend of Dr. Satan. Again, another made up character, but he's got a really cool backstory because when they ride this murder ride, Captain Spaulding explains who Dr. Satan is. This guy who did unnecessary surgeries on people. He tried to make superhumans kind of reminds me of house on haunted hill with that crazy ass doctor it reminds me a little bit of that but people went out and hung dr satan on a tree and so captain spaulding basically draws these kids a map so they could go out to that tree and see it for themselves um so the kids leave i mean you got rain wilson you know he's actually pretty funny in this um, but Walton Goggins, you got, you know, a great cast kit, you know, Karen Black, you got um, Bill Mosley, Sherry Moon Zombie, you, you got all these great cast members in this film, and they all do their jobs. But I tell you what, everyone might like Bill Mosley as Chop Top, but for me, his breakout character is Otis. Otis Firefly is crazy intimidating. I'm telling you. For a, a little guy like Bill Mosley, 
he is so intimidating when he's on screen as um, Otis. So Otis is my favorite character. Um, but God, fantastic guys! This movie, it it really, it really does that thing where I guess you could call it a cliche where. You're not supposed to go out in the middle of the woods. You're not supposed to go out in the middle of nowhere because what happens? Nothing good ever happens in that situation. Nothing ever happens that's good. So they end up going out to the place and they see a hitchhiker. And the hitchhiker is Sherry Moon Zombie's character, Baby Firefly. She gets in the car and she takes them to her house. And they end up getting a flat tire, which was actually planned. And so they get a flat tire, and they're at this house. And this house is crazy creepy. These people are weird. This is where the Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes in, because this house has, like, like props laying all over the place, dolls with their heads cut off and, and stuff like that. These people are just, you know, the mom is almost, like, slutty looking. Um, you got Grandpa Hugo, who is fantastic. You got Otis upstairs killing cheerleader girls. These girls who have been missing for, like, weeks are upstairs in his bedroom, and he's sitting there raping them and killing them and, like, slicing them with a razor blade. And, like, what the hell is going on with this family? So, finally, um, the kids get kidnapped, and one by one they start to kill them off um, and torture them and stuff like that. My favorite part of this movie is the third act. I'm not going to spoil everything that happens here, but... Do you get to see Dr. Satan? My answer to that is yes. You get to see Dr. Satan in this really cool underground layer that is underneath not really the house, but it's underneath the property. And that whole thing reminds me of People Under the Stairs a little bit. It is so cool. Like there's another layer to this movie. Literally another layer underground. It is great. Dr. Satan is a really cool character. I kind of wish we would have gotten more of his backstory, like more. I wanted to see more of him. I actually wouldn't mind if they did like a Dr. Satan uh, movie on its own. I think that would be interesting. But yeah, guys, this movie has it all. It has gore. It has unique characters, great music. And, you know, the acting has, it has some good comedy. It has some you know, really vulgar moments. Uh, but that's where it shines. The characters is what makes it work. And that's what I want to kind of express here, is that this movie has a lot going for it. Uh, yes, it does have, like I said, it has typical horror cliches, which is, you know, happens in any kind of horror movie like that. But, I don't know, I really like this movie a lot, guys. Um, it's not as bad as people are saying. Don't listen to the critics. It is not as bad as people say. This is my favorite Rob Zombie film, hands down. And, uh, yeah, I think you guys should give it a shot. So, yeah, it came out in 2003. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses. Awesome. So, that is my pick for day two, uh, October 2nd. So, um, join me for day three, October 3rd, where I will pick out and review another horror film. See you guys in the next one.